Hey, hello, my dear champions. How are you? And yes, welcome to this another beautiful question session, right? Question answer session on your very own channel by you six and eight. Yes, hello. And I really like the way you guys greet each other in the starting of a session. And that was very nice. It was very polite. So I really liked it. Yes, good evening. Good evening. Hello, how are you? Namaste. Sastriyakal. Good evening. Yes. Hey, Ritika. Super excited, huh? Very good. Very good. Force and pressure. So we have finished this chapter with a bang, I would say. We have finished mind maps also, right? We have finished formulas also. Hello, right? Thank you. Thank you, Shweta. I'm perfectly audible and visible. Uh, I got that clarification. Yes. All right. So today is important NCRT questions. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Cross puzzles, huh? All right. See, I'll ask you first some questions and then we'll move forward. How many of you wanted this session to be like a mentee session? See, I, I understand because in between someone is going to ask me, sir, mentee aaj hoga ki nahi hoga. Disha, it will happen. Uh, this week only it will happen. It just due to some reasons we had to cancel it. But yes. Hana? All of you wanted to be a mentee session? Okay. Achha, hai. Uh, how many of you feel that objective questions are easier than subjective questions? Hai. Objective is easier or subjective is easier? How many of you feel? Uh... <laughs> You're always take my name. Huh? Rudy, wait, more, more teachers will come, huh? <laughs> right? You feel objective is easier. MCQ is easier, right? Okay. So now let me ask you something else. Depends on subject. So let's say for this particular chapter. Okay. So let me ask you something else. Do you want to tackle the easier thing first or the harder thing first? Next question to you. Hey everyone. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Mank. Yes. You want to tackle harder first or easier first? Easier, huh? All right. See, I know it can be pretty subjective also. Sir, I like to solve easier things first. Menti, I know and will do menti. But you know that the reason today I'm not doing menti is because I feel why not go for a harder thing first, do it a subjective kind of a session and then mentee me will have a proper mentee war session where you will because last time when I have, I have done this in other classes now I have felt that uh, we have not practiced the questions nicely and then we went to mentee and a mentee is good fun is there learning is there but this is something you are doing today. It's a harder to topic. I would say it's a harder thing to do uh, to, to tackle the subjective questions first. And it is something if this session, we understand it properly means this chapter, you can do any kind of question, objective, subjective, MCQ, whatever it is, menti also, it'll be too easy. Right? <laughs> uh, this just usually happens when, when you know you are excited for a session. So you can see, uh, I'm, I'm a lot of time excited, excited for the session before it, before it starts, right? Hey, so. Disha, don't worry. Practicals also will do. Surprise. Surprise, it's coming. See, it's just not me. A lot of more teachers will come and reveal the surprise. So it's, it's a secret. Don't worry. And now, so that's why the reason I'm telling you all this is because today's session, if we focus, because you have learned everything and I'm telling you the questions of NCRT are very easy, but they are important. So right today, let's answer all the questions very quickly and just get this thing done from our heart. Ki bhai, ye chapter to I'm, I'm sorted tomorrow. You bring mentee in front of me. You bring crossword, you bring fill in the blank, you bring whatever I'll do it. Okay, fine. Take care. And now, so ready. Yes, Raj sir, your name is taken. Yes, ready? So, let's start solving some NCRT questions. Disha, theory or practical, that's true. Practical, so that's why. Practical plus theory, it's a combination and don't worry, we'll take care of both. And yes, I have been talking to Mrinal sir and Anushri ma'am also. Yes, they are, they are thinking of doing some things. Nice. It's okay, Aditya. Okay? Chalo, chalo karte hai. 
and by the way you know these things right we have these four packages and you know you get a 15 day access to premium app you know this thing right if you haven't tried it go ahead you can try it but you know what today let's focus on NCRT questions and and we'll talk about this later huh? <laughs> all right so come on guys first question on your screen is there you know come on ha huh, people this is to everyone i'm not ignoring ignoring anyone and name wise i would say good questions good answers name i take involuntarily you don't have to tell me you know by the way okay so kanak raju uh, aisha this is for you guys you know no ignoring name will be taken for good questions and good answers don't worry you know okay so come on be interactive and answer come on praji i'll tell i'll tell that to you don't worry yes give two examples each of situations in which you push or pull to change the state of motion of objects and the way we have learned this uh, this chapter no i would say you can give me multiple examples from your daily life you know pushing a door pulling a door apply force on rubber band stretch it clay to change its shape but mind it when you say clay na you have to take those examples where you change the state of motion of objects state of motion kicking a ball pushing a trolley pushing a car i would still say zaruri nahi hai car will move right balloon rubbing on hair state of motion huh? hit the ball by cricket king the football yes huh? so i would say you know opening the door ball hit by batsman so in change of state of motion there are two two things possible either it is a body which is at rest you apply force you push or pull and change its state in terms of rest to motion second is the body was already moving right you apply force you apply push or pull which is a force and you make this body to come to rest now these are two things possible in changing the state of motion mind it i'm telling you i'm i'm making you understand that how you have to think to answer a question in change of state of motion these two things are possible ab socho aisa kya example hai jahan par rest se motion mein aati hai cheez aur jahan par motion se rest mein aati hai hai na correct engine pulling a whole train correct drawing water from well and opening the drawer yes true true so right now you got it you have to just uh, uh, what do i say segregate your thought process in these two sections rest to motion and motion to rest bas ye karna theek hai so let's see force kya hai force to we all know effects of force mein all these effects come can make a steady object to move or bring a moving object to rest change the speed change the direction change the shape so in terms of you can say pushing a wheelbarrow pushing pedals of the bicycle now you know what these are my answers your answers can be different but the intent should be same hai na hitting a ball catching a ball so hitting a ball is bringing a rest ball to rest let's say a ball is was kept you hit it and it goes into motion next catching a ball in a cricket right ball was moving you catch it you bring it to rest same thing hai na catching a ball hitting a ball dono chal jayega right force you all know so in pull you can say pulling a cart drawing water from a well by pulling the rope so all these could be examples changing the state of motion hai na theek hai stopping and running ha chalega wo bhi so it's okay and if you uh, if a ball is rolling it comes to rest it is also because of force which force frictional force hai na so you know all these things easy kuch nahi tha isme it was very easy example so that's why i'm saying put variety in your examples in exam when you when you answer this question no put variety over there hai na bas itna okay bahut badhiya chalo next question give two example the situation in which applied force causes a change in the shape of an object now i feel this one is very easy you can answer it very easily come on tell me in which applied force causes a change in the shape of an object change in the shape of an object nice very good raj dharmendra clay clay and do right stretching the rubber very good yes yes clay do and there is one thing which i usually end up doing in all of my sessions rubber yes I I crush a bottle. That is also changing the shape, right? Lemon. Oh, nice. That's a good example. Crushing the lemon. Rolling papers. Yes. Oh, your name is Dhruva. 
filling air in balloon yes true and also very good puffy chips bag <laughs> anita uh, i would say hold on to that that is a more specific example to atmospheric pressure but ha huh, it's more about applying force and I, by the way that's not wrong that's correct only is just it might be little overboard and you know? maybe examiner might not be able to understand that it's okay you know ho sakta hai unko lage ki it's a very far fetched example it's okay you know nice wow wow you has so many examples very good very good paste wah wow. so i i'm thinking a lot of questions which are going to come in the session no you have already answered them by the way yes so reshaping clay to make toys squeezing toothpaste yes and yes all the examples which you have given no making roti dough crushing the bottle all these rubber bands all these are examples of changing shape only you are right you are right ekdam hai na to darna nahi hai so whatever i'm telling you i'm giving you two of the examples all which you have given me so you all are right hai na very good <laughs> devraj i just mentioned good answers good questions name will be taken don't worry hai na chewing ha chewing is also there making chutney <laughs> yes good tearing nahi nahi tearing nahi hai all right chalo next is a fill in the blank question focus focus fill in the blank question to draw water from a well we have to dash the rope easy this one is easy come on aditya says pull gungun koi baat nahi it's okay easy questions you would know the answer i know you tumko pata tha wo one pull everybody says pull huh? nice बहुत सही बहुत सही वेरी गुड वेरी गुड अरे वाह बहुत बढ़िया यस यू आर राइट टू ड्रॉ वॉटर फ्रॉम अ वेल वी हैव टू डू व्हाट राइट यू डू पुल द रोप बट बाय द वे इट्स अ देयर इज अ पुली दैट्स व्हाई यू पुल इट लाइक दिस इफ देयर वाज नो पुली यू वुड हैव पुल्ड लाइक दिस है ना नीचे से निकालते हम लोग नहीं तो फिर ऐसे सो दैट्स व्हाई टू ड्रॉ बट एनीवेज व्हाटएवर यू आर डूइंग यू आर पुलिंग ओनली ना सो दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन यू पुश you do this action when you pull you do this action so what you are doing in case of well you are actually pulling so that's why the answer is pull the rope easy har simran acha uh, people the pdfs which you haven't got yet uh, let me know in the comment section of this video hai na theek hai i'll make sure that you get them maybe ho sakta hai kuch glitch hua ho kuch ho gaya ho so don't worry i'll make sure that you get them but just mention me in the comment section of this video that which all pdfs are still pending pulling and not dancing are anita padhai mein dance karna chalta hai it's okay you know do whatever you want <laughs> right chalo next question yes a charged body dash an uncharged body towards it this question is easy if you don't overthink you know people who uh, who are learning for class 11th class 12th also i mean who are thinking at least at least you know in, in your grade i don't think this will be a problem but ha huh, i'll tell you what the problem comes learn unlearn relearn you, you remember that no attracts very good see attracting me there is something which we all know and i think your seniors are also there they also know this very well like charges repel right like charges repel unlike charges attract so that's why we always end up saying like charges do not like each other unlike charges like each other simple but what happens when there is a charged body and an uncharged body and you know what attraction thing i would say attraction thing becomes really easy to understand in your grade if you have all this experiential knowledge from real life you have all the answers hai na can someone give me example of this thing a charged body and an uncharged body attracting someone someone can can someone give me example of this Yes, I think you are right. Correct. Magnet, Shweta. Magnet is not charge. It is because of magnet. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Devraj, friend, ऐसे बार बार नाम बोलने से नहीं होगा ना. You ask, you give good answers. Your name will be taken. Don't worry, है ना. दोस्तों, everybody, everybody. हाँ, Raj, you are right. Balloon and can. Magnet में it's not the charge. See, there are two things. इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स एंड मैग्नेटिक फोर्स मैग्नेटिक फोर्स मैग्नेट में होता है इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इज बिकॉज ऑफ चार्जेस सो मैग्नेट में इट्स नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक चार्जेस इट इज बिकॉज इलेक्ट्रो इलेक्ट्रिसिटी है ना चार्जेस से नहीं है सो आंसर इज नॉट एक्चुअली मैग्नेट हाँ रब्ड एंड अनरब बलून ये बलून एंड कैन आई शोड दिस थिंग ऑल्सो ना बलून एंड कैन थिंग आई शोड इट टू यूज इट दे वॉज अ कैन यू ब्रिंग अ बलून विद लाइक यू नो डूंगर हेयर्स और क्लॉथ खच 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 एंड यू ब्रिंग इट नियर द कैन एंड द कैन स्टार्ट रोलिंग 
और हाँ कॉम्ब एंड पेपर आयशा करेक्ट स्केल एंड पेपर गुनगुन नाइस सिल्क एंड ग्लास रॉड कुलम्बिक अट्रैक्शन ये रबर स्ट्रॉ विथ शीट ऑफ पेपर मनिया दैट्स गुड करेक्ट ऑयल्ड हेयर्स हाँ बाय द वे समवन सेड ऑयल्ड हेयर्स इज नॉट एक्चुअली राइट ड्राई हेयर्स आर बेटर आई वॉन्ट टॉक अबाउट हेयर्स बाय द वे तो यस ठीक है सो इट्स अबाउट ड्राई हेयर्स एंड बलून राइट ठीक है लाइटनिंग येस करेक्ट so attraction we are not talking about flow of charges as such we are talking about attraction so that's why you have all these examples that scale paper comb paper uh, uh, plastic straw papers all these things are there hai na correct nice so that's why a charged body attracts an uncharged body towards it all right are pata good question good answers yes ha ah, correct abina so that's why hai na you understood at least everybody understood this k it is about attracting so if you bring a charged body near an uncharged body you know what it will attract it why it will attract it i'll tell it to you in class 11th not today all right theek hai ha prachi i saw your question don't worry uh, i'll explain you in the end how do you can i uh, how you can get help on that nice theek hai <laughs> yeah yeah i know i know vinash sir theek <laughs> hai nice very good abhinav it's induction all right so to move a loaded trolley we have to acha yahan pe kya aayega will it be what 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 will come over here correct shweta says push harsimran push or pull gurugun says push manya push रफीक पुश एंड पुल ओके धर्मेन से इज पुश एंड पुल साइंस फ्लाई पुश एंड पुल सो एवरी वन एवरी वन फोकस फोकस इट्स अ ट्रॉली अच्छा हाउ मेनी यू बीन टू एनी मॉल और एयरपोर्ट और राइट है ना जहां पर यू हैव दो ट्रॉलीज समवन माइट हैव सीन ना राइट ना 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 अभी ना Don't overthink. No, no, no. Don't overthink. Don't overthink. Friction, no. Train stations, है ना? So wherever you see those trolleys, you know what? You can either move by pushing them, or you can move them by pulling them, है ना? In airports, you have trolleys for heavy bags. So just think from your life, all these experiences. You know what? The life is your everyday activities are teaching you a lot actually, and especially for force. Every day we are doing force and stuff only, ना? है ना? नहीं नहीं यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इंक्लाइंट प्लेन पे बॉडी का सो आई एम सेइंग राइट नाउ डोंट फोकस अबाउट दैट इट्स अबाउट जनरल थिंग्स है ना पुश और पुल तो आना है उसके अंदर सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज पुशिंग आल्सो एंड पुलिंग आल्सो यू कैन डू बोथ नो यू कैन आइदर पुश ऑल्सो यू कैन आइदर पुल ऑल्सो सो बोथ ऑफ देम विल मेक द ट्रॉली मूव सो दैट्स वाई द आंसर इज पुश और पुल बोथ आर एक्चुअली करेक्ट है ना यू कैन राइट पुश स्लैश पुल हाँ आदित्य दैट्स That's correct. That is another experiential answer. It's it's a good answer. Yes, very good. Got it. बहुत अच्छे. Everyone, very good. Any problem? Any doubt you had in this question? I hope it's cleared because in a trolley, simply pushing and pulling both can move it. Ha. Huh. Uh, as Aditya mentioned, pushing is easier than pulling. That is kind of a true thing because in a uh, you know pushing, we you can actually put a lot of your weight. and this is the same thing when you are uh, pulling the uh, that rope you just hang it and you up tang jate ho hai na theek hai so push or pull both are correct answers fine chalo theek hai next question no doubts bahut acche bahut acche very good the north pole of a magnet dash the north pole of another magnet now this is very easy is pe to kuch zarurat nahi padega chalo ha ah, nice good abina this this now now is better repel nice everyone very good very good repel 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 was there in one crossword also i i think you remember right distract nahi distract is uh, uh, there means not a proper word distract hai na repelling or attraction these are very straight forward very easy words to understand distract to aap kaise bhi dete ho na i was studying i got distracted distraction has no proper meaning 
repulsion is has a has a proper meaning so everyone the reason i took this is because uh, uh, dharmendra in between you he was saying distraction so distraction mean there is a slight problem i would say repel all you people are answering repels no ha huh, that is true nahi abhi na it's not true uh, electrostatics mein ho jata hai monopoles exist but in magnetism it will be always a dipole correct yes babya menti to hoga menti kya menti war hoga don't worry ha uh, nice very good so unlike poles attract like poles repel so the funda remains same what we remembered that like charges do not like each other unlike charges like each other same thing here like poles do not like each other they say hat hat go away and unlike poles they like each other bolte ah mera bhai right so these things happen theek hai yes manya correct rotating fan i would say because friction is a by product which you did not want so that's why rotating fan is not actually an example of friction it's more of a circular motion or you can say rotational motion friction ke liye you need more specific example na so i'm telling you like poles they repel each other they don't like each other they repel but unlike poles they are like ah come 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 bahut dino baad mile hai these kind of things happen theek hai ha yes konark sun temple right Shruti, not today, but today's session becomes really important because next session is going to be menti, and there you will have a war with other subjects. I don't want you to knock me down this time. Okay, pakka, promise. Today's session, people who are doing it well, I'm assuming in menti you will win definitely. So it's like a, a cheating kind of thing. I'm just making you more prepared for the next session. Okay, all right. Promise, बहुत बढ़िया, है ना? ठीक है. Very good. Rafiq and Raj says promise. All right. Chalo. Next question. And next question is an interesting one. Hard Simran. Yes. Maybe I think you know. Then. <laughs> Pakka. बहुत अच्छे, बहुत अच्छे दोस्तों. Chalo. Now this is a situation-based question. An archer stretches her bow while taking aim at the target. Okay. She then releases the arrow, which begins to move towards the target. Same archery thing. No, you. stretch it you pull it then release it and arrow goes zoop based on this information fill up the gaps in the following statements using the following terms so all these are basically a group of words given to you from this you will choose which one needs to be fitted in what kind of a question theek hai hai na pal it will be soon i think this week only a schedule will come to you don't worry hai na okay so muscular contact non contact gravity friction shape attraction so you know all these words now look at what is the animation this is what happens when you do archery now let me ask you the first question first question says to stretch the bow the archer applies a force that causes a change in its and behind in that shadow version the animation is still going on theek hai look simple no ठीक है राइट टेल मी द आर्चर अप्लाइज अ फोर्स दैट कॉजेज अ चेंज इन इट्स सो लॉर्ड ऑफ हा लॉर्ड ऑफ पीपल आर सेइंग शेप करेक्ट आई सॉ वन और टू मस्क्यूलर मस्क्यूलर इज एक्चुअली अ टाइप ऑफ फोर्स विद द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग यू दैट कॉजेज अ चेंज इन इट्स शेप ओनली ना द स्ट्रिंग वॉज लाइक दिस यू स्ट्रेच इट एंड इन द स्टार्टिंग यू ओनली टोल्ड मी चेंजिंग शेप इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ like stretching rubbers this is what changing shape only na so that's why the answer is shape theek hai theek hai maniya pakka we'll have this time winner is physics hai na ekdam main bol dunga jaake sari teachers ko okay this time physics will win whatever you do okay yes all right so chalo next question Pratik, yeah, I, I see your question, and I think uh, I have been telling this in the very recent of my classes that this is this is something which is in in process right now, and yes, it will come. When I cannot promise, but yes, it will come. The force applied by the archer to stretch the bow is an example of dash force. Ha! Huh? This is the answer you were telling me.
सो अच्छा ठीक है द पीपल हु आर सेइंग मस्क्यूलर यू आर एक्चुअली राइट बट द पीपल हु आर सेइंग कांटेक्ट राइट नाउ यू आर एक्चुअली नॉट रॉन्ग यू आर आल्सो नॉट रॉन्ग बट लेट मी टेल यू व्हेन दिस क्वेश्चन विल कम नो इट वाज नॉट लाइक अ राइट नाउ आई एम शोइंग यू वन वन क्वेश्चन ईच इफ लेट्स से आई गिव यू जस्ट अ लोन सिंगल क्वेश्चन like all these options and only this one fill in the blank then answer could be muscular and contract uh, sorry contact both lekin kya hai na ncert mein this question is like these options and a b c d so that's why there you will feel that contact should be a part of some other uh, question not this one so that's why the answer is muscular for this one and why contact is not coming in this i'll tell you hai na don't worry mane aisa hai kya why अच्छा मैथ्स और फिजिक्स में अगर मेंटी वॉर होगा तो कौन जीतेगा व्हाट डू थिंक व्हाट डू थिंक इफ इफ इन मैथ्स एंड फिजिक्स वी हैव अ मेंटी वॉर हु विल विन फिजिक्स मैथ्स अच्छा इसका मतलब मैथ्स यू फील इजियर देन फिजिक्स इज इट ओ ओके वी हैव गुड दोनों में वी हैव अ गुड बैलेंस नाइस नाइस थैंक यू रफी माइन ऑल्सो अब तो देखना पड़ेगा सी आई कांट प्रॉमिस आई थिंक यू गाइज आर रेडी फॉर एनी थिंग आर राइट ठीक है कोई नहीं कौन बच्चे इट्स ओके इट्स ओके है ना कड़ा टक्कर होगा ओ नाइस रफी इट्स अ गुड थिंग इफ यू आर सींग मैथ इज इजियर देन फिजिक्स बिकॉज अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम पीपल एक्चुअली फाइंड मैथ मोर डिफिकल्ट सो इट्स अ गुड थिंग यस बहुत अच्छे बाय बायो कहां से अगर मैथ फिजिक्स की बात हुई थी इट्स ओके चलो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द टाइप ऑफ फोर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर चेंज इन द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन ऑफ द एरो इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ डैश फोर्स द टाइप ऑफ फोर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर अ चेंज इन द स्टेट ऑफ मोशन ऑफ द एरो इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ अ डैश फोर्स एंड जस्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड राइट इन द लास्ट आंसर यू सेट मस्क्यूलर सो हेयर इट शुड बी कॉन्टैक्ट इफ इन द लास्ट वन यू सेट कॉन्टैक्ट हेयर इट बी मस्क्यूलर देन ये भी चलेगा दैट्स ऑल्सो फाइन ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स करेक्ट नो प्रॉब्लम अबाउट दैट सो इट्स ऑल अबाउट वॉट यू पिक्ड फर्स्ट इफ यू पिक्ड कॉन्टैक्ट इन द लास्ट क्वेश्चन हेयर इट विल मस्क्यूलर इफ यू पिक्ड सॉरी मस्क्यूलर इन द फर्स्ट वन हेल बी कॉन्टैक्ट है ना एक ही बार कर सकते हैं ओ ठीक है मान्य आई टेक केयर ऑफ दैट राइट नाइस एवरी वन से कॉन्टैक्ट वेरी गुड चलो ठीक है आगे देखते हैं While the arrow moves towards its target, the forces acting on it are due to dash, and that due to dash of air. अच्छा ये थोड़ा सा tricky है, but this is the uh, this is the last one I think. That's why all the options are are gone. Air resistance, air resistance तो option भी नहीं है, अभी ना? so for the frictional force which air or any fluids give we say it give a specific word to it hai na friction ko hum bolte hain drag but here we have friction word that's why yes gravity and friction because once the arrow is launched right once the arrow is launched now who is acting on it gravity is acting and who is resisting it air friction so these are two things hai na gravity and due to friction correct everybody is on the same page no doubt about this bahut badhiya correct kyunki We are talking about forces when it is launched. अब आपने launch कर दिया उसके बाद, okay? Fine. Very good. चलो. And this is how this question was there in the book. And let's say it, if it comes in exam in such a manner, and that's why you will choose it like this. ठीक है? Fine. Easy. हाँ, Arjun Niklavya. <laughs> Easy. No doubt about uh, till now. चलो ठीक है. आगे देखते हैं इजी इजी क्वेश्चंस सो ऑल दीज आर क्वेश्चंस आई एम प्रीटी श्योर सी यू नो बिफोर कमिंग टू दिस सेशन आई वाज प्रीटी कॉन्फिडेंट दैट यू विल यू विल नो ऑल द आंसर्स इज जस्ट स्लाइट कंफ्यूजन नो आई एम हेयर टू क्लियर लेट्स डू इट एंड उसके बाद तो क्या लाइफ सॉर्टेड है कॉन्टैक्ट एंड नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट सी कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स है विच नीड्स प्रॉपर कॉन्टैक्ट विदाउट टचिंग यू कॉन्ट एक्चुअली अप्लाई दैट फोर्स नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट में फॉर एग्जाम्पल इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक्स Without touching also you can attract, right? Magnetic. Without touching also it can come into effect. And gravitational, है ना? Apple falls. Earth ने touch थोड़ी किया उसको. It fall. That's why. Oh, nice आ रहे थे. It's a very good topic. I would really want to do one session on that. And but yeah, today I won't discuss because I'll go in different direction. 
ठीक है पायल मोस्ट प्रोबेबली दिस वीक ओनली आई स्टिल डोंट रिमेंबर बट हाँ दिस वीक यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन डेफिनेटली इफ यू हैव सब्सक्राइब एक टप क्वेश्चन है ओके ठीक है अभी वैसे एनसीआर क्वेश्चन है मेरा सो मे बी यू माइट फाइंड इट टफ यू माइट नॉट फाइंड इट टफ बट यू नो वॉट इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट एटलीस्ट एनसीआर तो हमारा क्लियर रहे ना स्लोली स्लोली विल डू मोर हैवी क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो पहले बेसिक्स तो क्लियर होने चाहिए है ना ओके okay? चलो ठीक है इन फॉलोइंग सिचुएशन आइडेंटिफाई द एजेंट एक्सर्टिंग द फोर्स अच्छा ये वाला ना स्लाइटली टफ है स्लाइटली बस थोड़ा सा एंड स्पेशली से फॉर एग्जाम्पल अभी ना व्यूआर देनो थोड़ा सा टफ लग सकता है ये एक आध जगह पे आई टेल यू वाई एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन विच इट एक्ट स्टेट द इफेक्ट ऑफ द फोर्स इन ईच केस आइडेंटिफाई द एजेंट वॉट एजेंट इज एक्सर्टिंग द फोर्स एंड द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन विच विट ऑन विच इट एक्ट एंड वॉट विल बी द इफेक्ट तो तीन चीज बतानी है पहला एजेंट हु इज द एजेंट अपलाइंग फोर्स सेकेंड वट इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑन विच द फोर्स इज अपलाइड थर्ड इज वट इज द इफेक्ट ठीक है सो पहले स्क्वीजिंग अ पीस ऑफ लेमन बिटवीन द फिंगर्स हु इज द एजेंट मेंटी आई थिंक मे बी टूमोरो और डे आफ्टर टूमोरो आई थिंक आई एम नॉट श्योर काइंड ऑफ हैंड कैन यू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक हम लोग हैंड से थोड़ी करते हैं वी यूज आर फिंगर्स नो हाँ सो इफ यू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक हैंड इज ऑल्सो नॉट रॉन्ग एक्चुअली लेकिन सोचो खुद ही हम लोग कैसे करते हैं यू टेक द लेमन एंड यू गो लाइक सो यू यूज फिंगर्स है ना राइट एजेंट इज फिंगर्स देन ऑब्जेक्ट इज डेफिनेटली लेमन एंड इफेक्ट इज चेंज इन शेप करेक्ट है ना so that's why yes yes correct correct so that's why the thing becomes agent is fingers object is lemon effect of force is changing the shape of the lemon that's true hai right? na with this question i would say you got the hang of how to answer these questions chalo theek hai now let's see the next one very good dharmendra ah nice chalo all right this one Taking out paste from a toothpaste tube, you have to tell me agent, object, and effect. So these are the three things we have to answer in each of the question. First is taking uh, taking out paste from a toothpaste tube. Okay, you say hand. Yeah, Bobby, your messages are visible. प्रेशर सो हाँ आई टेल यू आई सी दैट यू यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्लास इलेवन ऑल्सो एंड अ गुड थिंग बट यू नो वाई ओवर थिंकिंग मे गेट आर आंसर रॉन्ग समाइम्स बिकॉज एजेंट यू नो एजेंट में वी आर लुकिंग फॉर द नेम ऑफ अ बॉडी राइट अ पार्ट ऑफ अ बॉडी दैट बिकॉज दैट्स हाउ दीज क्वेश्चन आर बींग फ्रेम एंड दैट्स हाउ द एग्जामिनर विल एक्सपेक्ट द आंसर आई अंडरस्टैंड pressure why you are saying and i personally feel it's not that wrong but still the question is demanding the name of a body part or what is the agent hai na so that's why theek hai so fingers toothpaste and change in shape fingers toothpaste and change in shape yes fingers toothpaste tube and changes the shape of tube as paste comes out theek hai nice correct nice nice har samran yeah you are correct all right theek hai nice raj very good everybody gave the correct answer very good very good chalo theek hai agla wala now this one is again if you overthink you can make mistake in this question and this is for people uh, who know concepts of class 11th also a little bit at least theek hai a load suspended from a spring while its other end is on a hook fixed to a wall माने एनसीआरटी क्वेश्चन ही हैं दैट्स वाई दे फील इजी बट दे आर द बेसिक वन सो एटलीस्ट वी शुड नो देम बिफोर वी गो ऑन टू द हार्डर वन है ना सो दैट्स वाई ठीक है चलो लोड सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम अ स्प्रिंग वाइल इट्स अदर एंड इज ऑन अ हुक फिक्सड टू अ वॉल इफ यू ओवर थिंक यू कैन मेक अ मिस्टेक इन दिस अभिनव दैट इज वट आई एम सेंग दैट इज वट आई एम सेंग एजेंट में यस आइडियली What force? Because what force? It is gravity only. 
बट यू नो वॉट आई टोल्ड यू हाँ इलेवेंथ बहुत हार्ड हो जाएगा बट आई एम टेलिंग यू के द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन ना फ्रॉम द एग्जामिनर्स परस्पेक्टिव दे आर लुकिंग फॉर अ बॉडी और लाइक अ पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी दैट विल बी द एजेंट हु इज अप्लाइंग द फोर्स ठीक है हाँ यस गुड अभिनव यस यू गॉट इट नो नाउ ब्लॉक पीपल यू आर से एजेंट इज नॉट द स्प्रिंग प्रतीक्षा Rafik, no. Agent is not gravity. I'm telling you, the question is demanding the answers like agent should be a body or a body part, है ना? कौन लगा रहा है? So there was a spring, and what did you attach? You attached. I should take what? हाँ. You attached a block, right? And then it came down. But you did. You left it, no? You you are not touching it. You hang the block, and the block comes down. Block is the agent. Yes. So that's why I told you. Overthinking may you might make a mistake. So look at the pattern of the questions. Every agent. ऐसे तो पता क्या होता है? If I tell you in this question also, fingers of a person. What you are doing? Pressing it. It should have been normal or or you know the force applied by the uh, thing. You might have said muscular force. And I'll tell you one more way. So agent may that's why in this it is the block. Right? You got it now? Very good. Suspended load or the block. Object is the spring. and what is the effect elongation of the spring on the suspension of load theek hai hey anukriti it's okay not a problem correct effect is elongation correct true hai na so now everyone next question mein again there is a chance overthinking might get it wrong theek hai but we are surprise 7 baje thodi der ke liye sab teachers aayenge and we will all Reveal it. ऐसे मैंने बता दिया ना पता है मेरे को बहुत पटाई पड़ेगी सबसे आई एम नॉट टेलिंग इट इज नो केस नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम राइट रफीक इट्स ओके नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम एंड आई रियली लाइक योर स्पिरिट मैम बिकॉज यू टोल्ड दिस बिफोर ऑल्सो यू आर हिंदी मीडियम स्टूडेंट यू आर लर्निंग इंग्लिश एंड इट्स अ वेरी गुड थिंग राइट नाउ यू हैव टाइम डू इट कोई दिक्कत नहीं बच्चे है ना एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू इन इंग्लिश हिंदी ऑल्सो इलांगेशन पीपल हु हैव कंफ्यूजन इलांगेशन मतलब क्या होता है Let's say you have this marker, na. If you stretch it, it's not stretchable. But let's say it's a spring or a rubber band. If you stretch it, it will stretch, right? It will increase the length. Uska length increase ho jayega. Isko bolte hain elongation. That is what we call as elongation. ठीक है? Yes, Anita, on this channel. Mayank, not right now, but let's see. Okay, chalo, chalo, guys. Next question. be where be cautious from overthinking an athlete making a high jump to clear the bar at a certain height i like how you guys are guessing it's it's really nice i am very much compelled to tell you but you know what i'm holding just hai na chalo this one this one sneha english and you know i i want to cater both i want to uh, go for a little english and don't worry i'll i'll let you know come on muscular athlete muscular is a type of force i told you it could be a like like an object or a body or like a part of body hai na come on come on athlete is fine ha huh, athlete is fine legs is also fine okay okay it's nice i told you this one is a little, little tricky yeah that yeah took your uh, feedback and by the way please post this comment in the in the comment section of the video i'll have a look afterwards also so i i really liked the way you have uh, tried answering this question let me tell you muscles of athlete now why i said be aware from overthinking so for example uh, let's say you wanted to say the type of force if type of force would have been the answer then it would have been normal force because the person is jumping it would have been normal force but you know what it's not i'm talking about like a body or a body part so that's why muscular force ko is for rafiq you were actually correct मस्क्यूलर फोर्स को ही देर इज अ वे ऑफ टेलिंग दट मसल्स ऑफ द बॉडी आर एक्चुअली द एजेंट अप्लाइंग दैट फोर्स ऑब्जेक्ट इज एथलीट बिकॉज दोज मसल्स आर बींग अप्लाइड ऑन 
on so you can say it is on the ground and then the athlete ups but what is the effect you see you see the athlete jumping up no you don't see the ground going down so that's why yeah man i know i know man. Manya, because of some other, uh, you know, uh, she she's busy with something else. But yeah, she really wanted to come. By the way, and we'll address this in the evening, you know, right? And speed and direction of motion changes. So this that is why this question became important. Okay, everybody clear with this question? So Abhinav, you understood now why we are not saying normal force? Why we are saying muscles? Okay, chalo. A blacksmith hammers a hot piece of iron while making a tool. How does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron? A easy, easy question. Let's do it very quickly. Come on. Hello. How does the force due to hammering affect the piece of iron? Pile. It's a surprise. Increase density. Still getting a little more technical. I mean. you can make it little down i see uh, your answer is all correct is just you are answering na it's actually a little higher level higher grade ka thoda sa niche niche aao niche aao ha na ab sahi hai na shape so you can because in this grade no the examiner would be expecting that you give answers for that particular grade by the way you guys are not wrong when you say increase the density nice correct so force to we all know all these are effects of force right but here when you heat an iron rod right it molecules gain energy right it molecules gain energy and it tends to go towards melting it becomes soft now when you hammer it you can mold it so what you are doing is you are actually changing the shape hai na yes expanding also also happens you know correct so when you heat a metal it expands if you heat it more it becomes red hot right it tends to go towards melting phase but now it is soft so if you hammer it you can actually uh, mold it and that's how swords are made mane exact date i can't tell you but yes that is something which which will come which is in process right change in shape hai na bahut acche Hello. An inflated balloon was pressed against a wall. Now this question looks big. Just focus. Read it very carefully and very quickly, and see. Was pressed against a wall after it had been rubbed with a piece of synthetic cloth. It was found that the balloon sticks to the wall. Acha. Piece of synthetic cloth. You took a balloon, rubbed it with a piece of synthetic cloth, and then when you brought it near the wall, it got stuck. It sticks to the wall, isn't it? What force might be responsible for the attraction between the balloon and the wall? Easy. बहुत इजी है बस लैंग्वेज भारी था द लैंग्वेज लुक्ड यू नो लेंदी अदरवाइज इट वेरी इजी थिंग सो पीपल हु आर सेइंग फ्रिक्शन मे बी इट्स चेंजिंग इन शेप नाइस नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स फ्रिक्शन पता है क्यों नहीं है जस्ट थिंक फ्रिक्शन के लिए यू डोंट हैव टू रब इट विद अ सिंथेटिक क्लॉथ नो रबिंग विल गिव यू एन आइडिया रबिंग मतलब सर चार्जिंग बाई फ्रिक्शन एंड देन वेन आई ब्रिंग इट इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स की वजह से बिकॉज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इट गेट्स स्टिक टू दॉल दैट्स वाई है ना इट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स इंड्यूज चार्ज अगैन करेक्ट है राइट सो फोर्सेज दैट कैन बी एक्सर्टेड विदाउट रिक्वायरिंग एनी कॉन्टेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इट्स नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स एंड अ टाइप ऑफ नॉन कॉन्टैक्ट फोर्स इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स दैट इज एक्चुअली कमिंग इन टू पिक्चर राइट अट्रैक्टिव और रिपल्सिव इन नेचर इट कैन बी and here it is electrostatic force theek hai fine easy thodi der ke liye papi i think but ha no violence all right yes chalo name the forces acting on a plastic bucket containing water held above ground level in your hand discuss why the forces acting on the bucket do not bring a change in its state of motion acha all these questions na they are pretty easy is just we should know how to answer such questions पहले क्या पूछा है देन वॉट इज आस्ट सो वॉट विल आई आंसर फर्स्ट है ना नेम द फोर्स इज एक्टिंग ऑन अ प्लास्टिक बकेट कंटेनिंग वॉटर हेल्ड अब ग्राउंड लेवल इन योर हैंड यस करेक्ट या या इट इज इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक फोर्स प्रतीक्षा फॉर द लास्ट क्वेश्चन करेक्ट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स 
Nice. So it's a gravitational force. That is correct. Acha, why is there no change? If there is gravitational force, mani elongation means khichna. Kisi cheez ka uh, length badna if you, if you apply force. Usko bolte elongation. Hai na? This rubber band khich jata hai na? It elongates. Correct. We cancel that force because you see no change because it's a balanced force. Right? Net force is zero. That is the only way that a body will remain at rest. Hai na? Force to lag raha hai. There is force acting. But still there is no change. Matlab, there is a balanced force. Net force must be zero. Ah, yes. <laughs> Correct. So, net force is zero. No change in state of motion. Unbalanced force mein, there will be change in state of motion. So, if you are holding it, you are holding because of muscular force, but gravity is pulling the pulling the bucket down. Both are in balance. Net force is zero. There is nothing. Hai na? Correct. I think it's Bangalore. It's around what 25, 26, right? Okay, nice. And these two forces are equal, opposite direction. There is no change in its state of motion. So. The idea I want all of you to understand is if the body is at rest, even if there are forces acting on this body, iska matlab ek hi hai. there is only one way of explaining it. Both forces are equal and opposite. And that is how this net force is zero on this body. Okay? But yeah, nice, very good. Net force zero, very important concept. Bohut, bohut log isme galti karte. Chalo, hai. This is the last question for today. Last question. There is a special question here. It's about rockets and all. Hey na? Chalo, come on. Yeah, yeah, I know. Man. It's in Rajasthan, it's, it's too hot. In actually, UP and Bihar also is too hot. A rocket has been fired upwards to launch a satellite in its orbit. What is fired? A rocket is fired. In which direction? Upwards. Okay. Name the two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad. Answer this question, but be careful. Hey, Ayush. It's okay. Haan, thoda late to hai aap. But koi baat nahi, this session will be there. You love rockets, huh? Good. <laughs> you, you must have tried that uh, DIY rocket thing. Gravity of Earth and friction. Okay. The two forces acting on the rocket immediately after leaving the launching pad. Friction and gravity. Uh, Gungun, you are right. Thoda sa usme lekin ek dikkat Nice, very good. See, when the rocket was on the ground, you know, when the rocket was on the ground, let's say it was on the ground, gravity downwards, right? Gravity was downwards and from the ground, there was a force upwards, both were equal, that's why it was at rest. But now when it got launched, when it is flying up, this means that one is net motion, where is the net motion? It is upwards, sir. Matlab, the force upward must be more compared to the force downward. Hai na? That is why there is a net motion in the upward direction. So, force by engine, that is the thrust force. Right? Engine kya piche push kar raha hai and atmosphere is pushing upward, that is theek hai. That is the thrust force and gravitational force. So, right? Thrust force is more, uh, third law of motion, correct. Thrust is more than the gravitational force. And that is why it is going. Okay. Right? Uh, air resistance is also there. I mean, that's correct. That's correct. It won't be wrong if you see air resistance, but here now, these were the major important things. Air resistance, okay, in mostly these questions, we also say, you know, neglect air resistance for a while. It's okay. Mania, I'll do it, but just give me two more minutes. Acha, hai. This is fine. Acha, can you answer this? I'm just letting you know this question because. We are almost over, right? So yeah, this is the uh, this question and you can answer, take a screenshot, just tell me in the homework. Thrust is force, uh, the perpendicular force, Disha. Answer is you guys have seen, but still take a screenshot and you can tell me in the comment section. Right? Nice. Chalo. Telegram, you all know, it's important. And you all know that we have got you covered, hai na? Pressure ka question last wali tha pabhiya, which I don't have time right now. Poll question, abhi nahi, basa menti karenge seethe, don't worry, menti war very soon will do and now you guys are ready, by the way, thik hai? Or last question, please miss mat karna, it's the only question from pressure. 
प्रेशर क्या होता है प्रेशर इज द फोर्स पर यूनिट एरिया माने राइट द परपेंडिकुलर फोर्स पर यूनिट एरिया वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट थ्रस्ट अपॉन एरिया राइट या आई रिवील द आंसर बट स्टिल आई वॉन्ट यू टू हैव अ लुक एट द क्वेश्चन आफ्टर वर्ड इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन ड्रॉपर वाला क्वेश्चन है यू नो दैट क्वेश्चन राइट सो थैंक यू एवरी वन एंड आई वुड से वी आर दिस शॉर्ट ऑफ टाइम दैट्स वाई आई एम रनिंग we'll see each other again and this time we'll see each other in a menti war and you are ready by the way to kal hoga ya parso hoga just just be prepared na so last thing just like share and subscribe because all these things uh, three things are important we want to grow the family na we to 10k hua hai bas let's let's grow it more so come on theek hai so mane i have explained this to you pressure is pressure is force per unit area liquid mein kya hota hai it's in all directions and by the way just watch our session on pressure everything i have explained very clearly hai na अनिता सरप्राइज चलो थैंक यू एवरीवन टेक केयर आई विल सी यू अगेन बाय द वे यस टिल देन रिवाइज एंड कम प्रिपेयर्ड ऑल राइट चलो बाय बाय